All right, I'm gonna take a minute and show you a couple of the things that uh, we check when we get a new car in. Uh, a couple of things that uh, he asked to check and a couple of things that I looked at. So the first thing I looked at was the uh, generator. He wanted to know about replacing this with an alternator, but this one's in really good shape. The brushes are right at the top. It is an aftermarket regulator, however, not a Bosch. And it's probably not a Bosch unit. But it works, so I'd probably hold off on replacing that. Uh, the spark plugs are a little rough. Uh, probably needs a set of plugs. The uh, spark plug wires are very brittle, very hard. I'd replace those. And uh, tightened up the intake boots. We've got an oil cooler leak. It's the uh, oil cooler is leaking onto the cylinder head over here. And then we also have a sending unit that somebody's installed and didn't properly seal, and that's leaking also. Got this fan unit over here. I'm not sure what this is. This isn't factory. Somebody's uh, installed this for additional cooling and it needs to be bolted down. It's sort of loose back there. You know, we'll take care of that. Uh, all the turn signals, brake lights, hazard lights, uh, all work. Uh, reverse lights do not work. It's either gonna be a switch on the tranny or a wiring issue. I see the uh, fuse link up there. So the harness is here. We just gotta figure out if it's the switch on the tranny. <clears throat> Moving to the bottom of the car, we have uh, a pretty sizable uh, flywheel seal leak. Let's see, uh, drops you see there. Uh, probably need to do a reseal, pull the motor out, flywheel seal, check the disc and see if it's wet and uh, replace that if necessary. Uh, you can see the transmission is uh, leaking at the side cover. Uh, you should probably seal that, reseal it, pop the cover off put an o-ring on it, uh, change the gear lube, and uh, replace the uh, flange seals on both sides. Uh, both mounts are uh, fairly soaked in oil. I don't know if you're catching that. The heater cable on the driver's side is uh, broken. We can put an extension on that and rehook that up, uh, spray a little lube in the tubes. I made sure all the cables are moving freely, and I think that'll get the heat back to 100%. Uh, the floor has had a couple of uh, patches, rear sections put in. Had a pretty sizable hole there that's uh, coming back. I would address that section sooner than later. If you uh, drive and get caught in rain, go to the beach, whatever, it's going to get some, uh, you know, road grime, salt, and whatever up in there and just spread the rust. Plus, it'll get the inside of the car damp. Needs to be re-seam sealed. All the uh, seam seal is uncatalyzed and it's rusting under the seam sealer. So scrape that off, seam seal it with some catalyzed seam sealer and uh, a couple cans of undercoating on the bottom of this wouldn't hurt. A little bit of surface rust here and there. Uh, the fuel line, the fuel line here, it's got a rubber fuel hose. I don't like that kind. You need to replace that with some German hose. Uh, don't like the possibility of any kind of fire. I like to eliminate those problems and rubber hose seems to not hold up very good on a Beetle for some reason. So that's the back of the car. Uh, back brakes were uh, in really good shape. I adjusted those, cleaned and adjusted. The front brakes need to be replaced. They're very thin on the uh, shoes and the adjusters are seized up. The horn is uh, bad. You got power coming to the horn. You can hear it trying to uh, blow, but it doesn't work. High beams are good. Both turn signals are good, and the flashers all work. Uh, on the front, everything's good. Got uh, four really nice ball joints on here. We got four brand new tie rods. Somebody's replaced the master cylinder. Again, this is some surface rust up here. It needs to be addressed with some undercoating or some stuff to uh, stop some of this stuff. Slow it down. <clears throat> the front shocks have been replaced. However, the, the bushings are uh, bad in them, so I'd recommend shocks all the way around. The rears are original. You can see I have some sort of a funky hardware holding them on there. The sway bar bushing is uh, bad on the driver's side. Need a new bushing over there, nothing major. And then coming around to the uh, <clears throat> top, I have a little issue with this bracket here. Uh, one of the uh, pieces broke off and has been repaired before. I found the piece on the floor. 
And uh, we can re-weld that. Here's a piece. You can see where somebody's repaired that before. It was sort of a cold weld, so it didn't really hold up very well. We could take care of that. And a lot of the uh, brackets are bent out of shape. Maybe some hammer and dolly in. Trying to uh, get these back in some sort of shape. And uh, the bracket on the other side is also bowed out. The uh, hinge bracket right there is bent pretty good. So let's take a look at that. I don't know if the top is uh, shrinking up on the framework, pulling it too tight. That's what I'm suspecting back here. So i uh, try to heat gun it a little bit, stretch it, and see if I can get this to lay down at the top here and uh, get our window sealed back. And we'll work on that. That's just a matter of uh, finessing the uh, brackets and such. Uh, that about covers this thing. That's uh, front to back. We went over the motor, we went over the shocks, we went over the tranny, we checked for a tune-up. We checked the carburetor out. Again, fuel line, the fuel filter is very dirty. Shouldn't be this close to the ignition components and uh, power sources. I like to run the filter up over here. And uh, this is your reverse light wiring harness here. We need to see why that's not working. And then also eliminate some of this uh, rubber fuel line and uh, replace that with some German hose. Um, do you have a, a leak in the tube here? I uh, might have one of these. These are sort of rare. I'll have to look around and see if I have one of these. Somebody's repaired this with duct tape or some electrical tape there. Uh, it's not a vacuum leak and it probably won't affect the way the car runs. It's just sucking air. And uh, I'll put some fresh electrical tape on that and close it up a little bit until we decide what to do there. The uh, distributor's been replaced with an 09. Uh, doesn't look like it has a lot of mileage. The cap was. Uh, in fairly good condition that's why I recommended just replacing the plugs the wires we'll clean the contacts in here reset the point gap and uh, clean the rotor button uh, as far as uh, anything else goes I think that's a good place to start with what I mentioned uh, we can do a little bit of it or we can fix it all however you want to do it the uh, main issues would be the oil leaks and uh, adjusting the valves changing the oil the oil is uh, very black and slow, so there's no sense adding. It's a three quart deal. It's got a screen in there. Uh, doesn't have a filter, so the screen is uh, probably dirty. It's a black hole in here. I can't find the hole for the dipstick. Unbelievable. But anyway, let me get that in the hole. There we go. I said to get my hands dirty. It's really black down there. Plus I'm getting blind in my old age. But anyway, there we go. So, uh, yeah, oil change, valve adjustment. Uh, the oil leaks is where I would start. And the front brakes, of course, being that that's the safety issue. And uh, the rest of the stuff we could do a little at a time or uh, however you like to attack it. So that's where we're at with the thing. It's uh, the once over. It's all in all, it's a really nice solid car. Not a lot of rust on it. Uh, the floor pans are pretty common in these due to the convertible top issue. A lot of people uh, don't seal these up to get water in them. You go to the beach and you know you get floor issues. But uh, as far as things go, this is in really nice shape. So, so that's where we're at. Uh, this, this is uh, very rare that you actually get to see some of these body lines. These are usually covered up with Bondo and stuff because most things are rusted out. And uh, these rockers are all very solid and in nice shape. Maybe a little bit of repair right here on the bottom, but nothing major. But uh, really nice car. So, so that's where we're at with this. Uh, it's just all little maintenance stuff really, except for the top and that's just a fitment issue. And I think a lot of it is the the top is actually shrinking on the uh, frame, which is the uh, only remedy for that is a new top. Uh, you can see how tight it's pulling right here over this uh, brace and around this one. So it doesn't allow them to move freely. And uh, that's why you get that big bow like that. But 
We're gonna lube it up and uh, try to straighten up some of those brackets and weld that one back together and uh, see what that gets us. So, yeah, wipers appear to be in uh, brand new shape, so everything's good there. It's very unique to a thing, and they look like they've been recently uh, replaced, so no issues with that. <clears throat> Seats are a comfort item. We could do that anytime. You can get the seat covers and uh, put some additional padding in there and make them a little more comfy. Got seat belts. That's always good. And uh, yeah, so I think that covers it. Bumper to bumper. We went over all of it. We'll get these few things done. We'll give it a nice test drive after we get the brakes squared away and the oil leaks fixed and the carb adjustment done and uh, see where we're at. So guys, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the uh, thing video and uh, hope you guys are having a good one.